G'day. Um, today I want to talk about something that people I hear a lot from the people that I'm working with, um, clients, as well as other people um, somehow related to my clients. And that is the great desire or the desperate need to get over it, whatever it is, the trauma in their life, the disappointment in their life, the upset in their life that has caused them to start to think differently or be more negative than normal or, or whatever. You know, people are desperate to get over it. I can't get over it or I really need to get over it. I know I have to get over it, but I can't. Or somebody else saying, why won't they just get over it? Why can't they get over it and get on with it? And that it is obviously very different for, for everybody you know, who presents differently. But I kind of choose to think about myself anyway, that you know, I've, been, I've survived some trauma in my life, some things that I, that I can't get over. And I've actually, in fact, just stopped trying to get over it. And rather I focus on getting on with it, right? So you can get over it or get on with it. And, I, and I've chosen that I can suck those things into my existence and accept them and sometimes sit in the uncomfortability of them, but still be moving forward, you know, still getting on with it. And that's the big lesson for me out of this stuff is sometimes the stuff that's hard to get over is also the stuff that sometimes I can just get on with it with that stuff around me, with that stuff in my head or in my memory or in my consciousness, you know. One of my favorite quotes is from Carl Jung and it's, I'm not what happened to me, I'm what I choose to become. And what I choose each day is to focus on something I can't get over or something I can get on with despite having it as part of my lived experience. And maybe that might help you too.